Heathcote with him and just lays it back to Heathcote. Heathcote, a little chip forward, cleared away, but only as far as Mojé. Mojé eventually does find Patterson, steals in and tries the cross. Cannons off the legs of Ian Hughes for another throw to Argyle. Chris Billy looking for a man to make a move and Ronnie Mojé hooks it across. Evans in the area and scores! Against the run of play, Plymouth Argyle snatched the first goal. Hodgson pumps the ball to the edge of the Berry area, headed away as far as Mark Carter. Good interception. Chris Billy feeds it through to Clayton, who tries a speculative shot that finds the corner of the net. And that's as good a goal as you'll see anywhere in the Football League. Chris Billy fed it forward. Looking for Clayton to make the run, he did. He tried his luck from the edge of the area. And a magnificent goal that left the very keeper, Lee Bracey, absolutely no chance at all. Stuart Bimson will take the kick. Very pushing men forward. Bimson swings it in over the head of Stanton, headed away by Hodgson. And good work from Paul Williams, just nips in ahead of Ryan Cross. Ryan Cross is stuck with him, but Williams will try and keep going, maybe keep the ball in play, and does. Swings across into the far post, looking for Little John, knocks it back to Billy in the area. Can he turn and shoot? He does and scores! Deep cross, Raider and Little John. Little John knocked it back, and Billy, after the ball, just got stuck under his feet, so regained his composure and slammed it past Lee Bracey. Argyle lead by three goals to nil. Hodgson to Williams. A neat touch and a neat turn from Williams. Moje back to Ledbetter. Evans has stayed on side. He might try a shot from long range. Does so. And that's the fourth. Lee Bracey was stranded in no man's land in his area. Mickey Evans saw this. Tried his luck from 30 yards. A great shot and a great way to round off what has been a superb Argyle performance this afternoon. Billy on this near side to Patterson. Patterson forward for Little John who stayed on side despite the appeals from the Berry defenders. Turns inside, tries the shot. And that's number five. Little John time and time again this afternoon had straight offside, but this time as the ball was lofted through to him, he managed to beat the offside trap, checked inside and drilled a low left foot shot into the far right corner. Lee Bracey had no chance and Plymouth are on a high.